Alright, I am hoping that whatever I have just has done, has done has fixed it up. Anyway, welcome back to Reptile Rumble. Into Wario Land. Now, now, and now we have Course 8. A course, course 8, which it, it starts, it is, this is an interesting way to start a course. So yeah, basically this river will take you, this river will take this takes you back. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go well out of my way to keep this to keep the jet hat as long as possible in every situation where I can have it. Of course! Of course! Oh! Oh! Thanks, game! Thank you, we're buddies now. What's that, bro? What's that, you lost your jet hat, bro? I got you covered. I got you covered, bro. Jet hat pros, bro. Anyway, there's another jet hat because we need it. Alright, so yeah. Here, there's more hearts. We're close to getting hitting double digit lives. Very close, in fact. No, don't grab that. I don't want that. I said I don't want that. Oh. And, and, and of course, Bull Wario is pretty much, pretty much doesn't do anything underwater because he's a bull. Bulls aren't known for their underwater capabilities. So yeah, so yeah, this is kind of a weird situation I've gotten myself into. Yeah, this Bull Wario is, is way slower than Jet Wario. He, he, he just is, he's slow. He's a bit, he's very fat, very old. Oh, oh, I'll, okay. It blew up so hard it blew up three times. What the hell happened there? Whatever happened, I'll take it. Because I like it when things blow up multiple times. And thankfully, you can swim against cards with the power, the power of the jet hat. And because the jet hat just makes you move faster in general, which is another part of the reason why I like it. There's no point in which it is not effective, pretty much. Except for the ver or very rare cases where, cases where the game actually really, really wants you to use it. Anyway, hey, hey, anyway, we found. Hey. Anyway, there's the there's a secret exit, and that's why they gave us so many jet hats though, along that level. So yeah, it goes left into a whole new level. Now, what's funny is that this level is entirely optional. Uh, there's no reason to go to this level unless you actually want to go to this level, so yeah. Anyway, I said, I said uh, course 14. So yeah, this, this level you do definitely want to be very, to be very careful. You want this is a level where you really want to keep your jet hats as much as you can. Even though there's lots of spikes and other horrible things trying to stop you from having it. So yeah, take take advantage take advantage of how strong how strong the jet hat is to dodge, to dodge around the enemies. And do not get the dragon head unless you've lost your jet hat. Anyway, you, you can also go down here if you really want to. And, and, 
give you a free heart. So yeah. As if all well, hearts you can hearts you can get you can get the the better off you'll be, so. Yeah, be very careful with that one. It's designed to swoop down and make you bounce off the enemy so you can't jump off the platform in time. Very, very, very dickish, dickish design there. Well, I thought I thought maybe I'd solve the problem, but not quite. Anyway, because it's a little where you can't really go back very well, the the exit door is open by default, which is cool. Meanwhile, down here, here's another secret exit. The secret exit within a level that's only accessible by secret exit? Okay. You have to deal with some serious secret exitception. Meanwhile, right here, you can see some people frozen in the ice. Unfortunately, you can't do anything to help them. You're just kind of... Because your Wario, Wario does not want to help his enemies. With our enemies frozen in the ice. Mario knows what it's like to be trapped inside something too. Mario was trapped inside a capsule for like a th for like a really long time, and he just now got out. What a bunch of dicks those kids were. If you, if you, if you, if you don't if you don't get it, watch Mother of Three, and you'll get it. So yeah. So, so yeah, it's, it's always it's always nice when I want to play as in jokes that require you to have watched other other ones. Anyway, he's dead now. Yay! We all, we all like it when enemies die, don't we? A anyway, anyway, meanwhile, anyway, over here. Yeah, you, uh, you have to hit it from below. That's one of the few blocks where you can't just charge at it and activate it. So, so, so yeah, so yeah, I believe this level is this level you can't do this little secret exit, but I'm not sure if I can actually access it yet. I played some of this game to practice, but not all of it. Yeah, anyway, down here, there's another secret exit. And yeah, you can probably guess that's what the idea of this level is going to be. Can I, uh, I, of course, carry a key through all over an entire level. Because you, as you know, but you can do a lot. As even, unfortunately, even Jet have Mario can't really do that much. Would do that much when he's, when he's carrying a key. And if I remember correctly, this is a bit. Of, it's, 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 this section actually might be a bit tricky to get through with the key, considering you can't use anything like the Jet had to make it easier. And over here we have a treasure, a magical shield. Fortunately, we can't use it. Why is too stupid to use it? And that is actually treasure D because treasure. I think treasures B and C are all in are all in the Mount Teapot area that we left. That we well left. So. So yeah, I'm not taking any chances. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I froze up for a second again. Eh, you missed, pal. 
Okay, you can't hit me that easily. If I remember correctly, this is actually this is a, this is a section over here. Yeah, I, yeah, there is actually something there, but uh, yeah, yeah, I had to look up a guide to, uh, to figure out that I could go there. You know, they tried, they tried to foreshadow it, but it wasn't enough. I mean, any, anyway, over here, I believe that's actually the secret exit of this level, which makes sense because it's, uh, it's a thing you have to jump through a wall to find. Here you get to go inside the Bermuda Triangle. At least that's I guess by that's my theory as to why it's a triangle. Course number is this is course 18. And yeah, okay, with this one you can probably get you, you can probably you already know where the door is. Now you just have to find the key. The thing is, I don't remember off the top of my head where the key is, but yeah. They're entirely okay with me having a jet hat, though, so I'm okay, so I'm okay with them if they're okay with me having a jet hat. As you know, the jet hat is my favorite thing ever for this game. So yeah, we're not, take, we're not taking that. Oh, I didn't even know you could knock those guys down. Yeah, they, 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 they guys spit things at you. Whatever, I think I'm just gonna finish the level, because thankfully, when it comes to getting treasures, you don't actually have to finish the level to actually keep them. As soon as you get them, they're in your they're just in your inventory. Anyway, 1,235. And yeah, that level that level doesn't actually lead anywhere, it's just there. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys later. Next time on Reptile Rumble.